What's up guys? We're about five days out from the first pay-per-view event of the year. We already got two title fights on the card and probably the most hyped up heavyweight fight of all time. We have Stipe Miocic trying to beat the record for the most consecutive heavyweight title defenses and we have Francis Ngannou, the hardest hitting man on the planet, trying to spoil that record for him. So without any further ado, let's get right into these main card predictions. For the first fight on the main card, we have Thomas Almeida versus Rob Font. Both of these guys are looking to get back in the win column, although Thomas just lost to a much higher ranked opponent in Jimmy Rivera. Rob Font just lost to Pedro Munoz. I have to say, I think this fight's going to stay on the feet, and that definitely favors Thomas Almeida. He's a knockout artist. Rob Font will probably want to keep it on the feet, but I think his striking isn't close to Thomas's. Rob got submitted in his last fight, but that submission was caused by him getting rocked early by Pedro Munoz. So I think if Pedro can rock Rob, then Thomas can definitely knock him out even. So I think the most likely outcome here is that Thomas knocks out Rob Font. Thomas, even if he gets rocked, he can take it because he took some heavy shots from Jimmy Rivera. He even got dropped and he still survived. So my prediction for this fight is Thomas Almeida to win by knockout. Next up, we have John Volante versus Francimar Barroso. I think this fight has a lot of potential to be entertaining. I think it's going to stay on the feet. We could possibly see a war here. John is a guy that usually looks for the knockout. I think that's not going to change in this fight. So I think he's going to try to keep it on the feet. That was the problem in his, in his last fight against Patrick Cummins. He kept getting taken down. He was winning on the feet, but he kept getting taken down and ultimately lost a split decision. So I think this fight will definitely stay on the feet for both guys, but I think it's going to come down to the fact that John has faced and beaten much tougher opponents than Fransamar has. So I think this fight is either going to be a decision win for John or a knockout win, but as of now, I'm going to say John Vellante wins by knockout. Next up, we have Calvin Qatar versus Shane Burgos. This is another fight that I think is going to be a war on the feet. Calvin is coming off a pretty dominant win over Andre Feely in his UFC debut, and Shane is coming off three UFC wins, including a TKO victory over Charles Rosa. Shane is also undefeated. He's on a 10-fight winning streak in his professional career and a 15-fight winning streak if you count his amateur career. I think Shane is the better guy here. He's had more decisive victories over better competition. I think this is going to be a close fight. I think it could possibly be back and forth as well, but I see Shane winning a decision victory. For the co-main event and first title fight on the card, we have Daniel Cormier versus Vulcan Ozdemir. This is a pretty strange fight because DC actually lost in his last title defense against John Jones. But as we all know, Jones got busted for steroids or whatever, so he's out. The belt goes back to DC, and now he has a new challenge in Vulcan Ozdemir. Now, the thing about Vulcan is he's finished his last two fights in something crazy like 76 seconds or something like that. He knocked out Misha Serkinov, and then he knocked out Jimmy Manoa. So this guy is a, a knockout artist for sure. But the thing about DC is he's dealt with knockout artists before. He fought Anthony Johnson twice. I'm pretty sure he submitted him twice too. So I really don't think this fight is going to go any different than that. It's kind of like I think Vulcan could knock out DC, but it's just like I really don't think he's going to. Um, DC has a lot more tools than Vulcan does. If Vulcan doesn't get an early knockout, it's like what else is he going to do? He's not going to submit DC, and I highly doubt he's going to win a decision in a five-round fight against DC. So DC definitely has a lot more tools than Vulcan does. So I personally feel this fight playing out a lot like the Anthony Johnson fights. I think DC is going to have to weather the storm for maybe the first round or two, and then he's just going to be able to take down Vulcan and submit him. So yes, my prediction is that DC takes down Vulcan in probably the third or fourth round and submits him with a rear naked choke. But if Vulcan does happen to beat DC, I'm not going to be mad. I actually like Vulcan a lot. I even made a highlight video for Vulcan. So if you have like two minutes to spare, go give that some views. That will be much appreciated. <sighs> for the main event, we have champion Stipe Miocic looking to break the record, looking to get three consecutive heavyweight title defenses. 
versus Francis Ngannou, who holds the record for the hardest human punch and just brutally knocked out Alistair Overeem, got the knockout of the year. We're looking at a fight here that I don't even know if it's physically possible to go out of the first round. In his past, I think, five fights, Stipe has knocked out every opponent in the first round. And obviously, Francis hits like a Ford Escort going full speed or a 12-pound sledgehammer getting swung from overhead or something crazy like that, whatever Dana said. So I'm not – listen, last year for Francis versus Alistair, I actually predicted Alistair to win. And looking back, that was pretty stupid. But I think my only mistake in that prediction was forgetting that Alistair had – the worst chin in the UFC, but I still stand by my reasoning a little bit. I was saying that Francis really hasn't faced anybody worthy up until this point, and Stipe's basically cleaned out the division. So I don't really think Francis has been tested to where you can start saying, okay, he beats everybody. But having said what I just said, I gotta say that punching power will take you a long, long way in the heavyweight division. So I love Stipe. I want him to break that record so bad, but rewatching his fight with Alistair, Stipe got dropped twice by Alistair. And when Stipe fights Francis, I really think Francis just has to land one time and it's all over. And the first round is going to be five minutes. If Francis lands one punch, like one hard punch in those five minutes, I think it's all over for Stipe. So I'm sorry, Stipe. I still support you. I'm going to pull for you as hard as I can, but I have to predict Francis by first round knockout. Wow, that was pretty hard to say. I wonder if that makes me a bad fan if I predict my own guy to lose, but I still pull for him. Well, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. This was UFC 220 predictions. I think it's going to be a good card. I think there's going to be a lot of wars, so I'm looking forward to it. Um, that's really all I have to say. Make sure to voice your opinions on things in the comments. And other than that, I'll see you next time.